Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video. Today we are going to create a makeup look with this Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette that it's called Dark Magic. Now some of my subscribers wanted me to will try this one on the camera and give you my opinions and see if these eyeshadows are going to blend nice and how easy it is to create a makeup look for us that are not experts in makeup not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup lover and I like love to try different techniques to create the makeup looks and see which technique or what makeup look suits my eye shape because I have smaller eyes, very hooded eyes and not a lot of uh, space on my eyelids. But this is a beautiful palette. I'm sometimes very scared of these dark shades but these look amazing. Now did use it once, only once when I got this palette, but I don't know, the, the eyeshadows I used I didn't have problems, but let us try this a little bit more today, and if you want to see what makeup look, uh, look I'm going to create, then please keep on watching. First I thought, wanted to make a video of um, reviewing a new foundation that I got, but then I remembered that I need to film this video and I did get a lot, little bit of fallout last time I used these palettes so I'm going to redo this video before I try that foundation so I'm going to split this video into different videos I do that sometimes just because I like that and I don't want my videos to be too long and I want you to be able to choose what you want to see so let's start fluffy brush and I'm going to go into proof this first light shade I'm going to put this all over my eyelid. I did use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I did set it with my Huda Beauty Powder that I always do with any eyeshadow palette that I review these last couple of months. Wait, I need more coffee. I just woke up. So now we can continue. And then I'm going to go into this beautiful transition shade kind of cold brown shade called Shh. beautiful name they're a little bit powdery but you know what like I said every time I don't mind eyeshadows being a little bit powdery because uh, I love Anastasia eyeshadows but they are very powdery so I don't care just I just want my eyeshadows to work and be easy to blend and of course stay on on my eyelids and these eyeshadow do, eyeshadows do stay I feel like this one doesn't really turn the way I want it or pigmented as I want it so I'm going to build it up a little bit more looks more gray on my eyes than it does in the pan I don't know I don't know I think this one turned out a little bit too gray on me it blends nice it's not a bad eyeshadow I just don't like really this shade but Let's continue. I'm going to go with the same brush with this potion, this beautiful olive green shade. And oh, this one is nice. This one I like. I like this shade a lot. So then I think I'm going to use this brush and go into this inside jar, this dark green here. And place it. And this one looks to be more blue than green. I'm going to take this one a little bit above my crease because I have very hooded eyes and I want my eyes to look a little bit bigger. I don't know, guys. I mean, they are blending nice. I just... Am my eyes that dry right now? Because it looks a little bit patchy. Or I don't think these shades look very nice together. I don't know. Something feels wrong. Let's take another brush instead, a little bit packed, and try with it. Yeah, this one works better than this one. But I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. 
just to create a balance. This one is more blue than green. It looks dark. I don't know. It looks green here, but on my eyes it turns a little bit blue here. It's green here, but blue here. I don't know. It's confusing. Very confusing. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and go back with this portion shade that we had and blend that crease or a little bit above the crease. So I don't know, they are blending nice. I just feel like the shades turn to be a little bit different on my eyes. Yeah, let's, I think I'm going to go with a very small brush, flat brush, and take this black, I think it's black, yeah, the black shade, Tempress. And try to put some on the edge here. And I'm going to blend it with another brush. So I'm going to take this brush that we have used for this dark green here and blend this black. I have to say this palette is not for a beginner. It's not very easy to use. Not easy use friendly. I don't know what it's called. Okay. God, this. Uh... I'm going to take some uh, concealer and clean my eyelid so we can place a shimmery shade on. I want to use that, um, what it's called, the green, eye, green shimmery shade. So I'm going to use some concealer and clean. Okay, I think this is as even, as even as I can make it. Okay, let's see. I'm going to try with the brush, the clean, clean one that we used for the black shade. And I'm going to go into this dark trickery, I think it's pronounced, this dark green shade. And place it here. showing up that's good okay then I just clean that brush and I'm going to go into this lightest shade shimmer shade power cut in this palette it's like a silver shade I don't really like sil silver eyeshadows on my eyes but this maybe will look good I don't know just feel like I look strange It feels like this is the only option we have right now. And I'm going to try to blend it into the, this green. This silver shade is beautiful, but I feel like this green is... I don't know, I'll take it with my finger and see if I can... If I can... Uh, I don't know, make it... It doesn't want to stick here, you know, if, I don't know if you can see it's patchy here. I don't know why. Let's take it again and try to... Doesn't look good. Does not look good. So I went back with that dark green shade and I actually just packed it on the edges and it works better than trying to blend it water away. And like I said, there is a fallout, so look, so I'm very glad that I didn't put my makeup on before. I'm going to go back in this lightest shade here and place it under my eyebrows. I feel like I need to. What is this? It's like a dark spot here of the eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and put some eyelashes on and I'll be right back to finish the makeup look. So guys, I did rest of my makeup. Now I do have some new Hourglass products on my skin and this is 
the lipstick that I have on my lips is Jeffree Star Manique Mannequin, Mannequin, I don't know how to pronounce. And on top I have the model's own something something holochrome lip gloss. Holochrome lip gloss in this beautiful pinky shade. So I'm going to do the low lash line right now. So we go back in this to this palette. So I'm going to use this kind of brush and go into this shade and blend it. I'm going to take it and bring it low. <laughs> this shade looks much better on the low lash line than it does in the crease. That's strange. But it still turns a little bit gray. Oh, I'm loving this. So I'm going to go in with a flat brush. Uh, this kind, no, yes, this kind of brush, like for eyebrow, bro eyebrow brush, and go in with this um, blue. Take it very close to my lower lash line. I'm going to go back with the brush that we used before and blend well like this okay i think so i'm actually going to take the white uh inliner kayal pen isadora and uh, bring it in my waterline I didn't bring it into the tear part of the eye, I don't know how to call it. And then I don't have any shimmer shades that I would want to use in my in the corner side here. So I'm going to go into this palette hourglass and take this shade here in this palette that I used as my highlighter today. So let's go and take some mascara. I'm going to take this Clinique High Impact Mascara. I think I pronounced the names right. <laughs> I don't know. So guys, this is the final look. I think it, it turned out nice. It is a beautiful makeup look, but this bling gloss, bling gloss, no, this dark magic palette is the hardest to work with in the whole collection. I don't think it's the same formula like the first eyeshadow palette that Morphe and Jaclyn Hill did the big one. I don't think so. They don't blend as easy and it's, uh, it needs more work than the other eyeshadows. These eyeshadows, the dark, the, the dark matte shades are very pigmented, but I feel like these shades are more for packing on and then blending very soft. So you do need to first, first pack it on, on the eyelid or the part where you want that shade, and then with the light hand blend it. That is how these work better. You can't go in with a brush and do like you do maybe with a Anastasia palette, dip your brush and then blend all over because it is going to look patchy. That's my experience. When I just dip my brush in the shade and then blend it. I do need to pack it on and then blend it. That is how they work. The light shades, the light matte shades, they blend better. So you, those you can go in with, with those you can just take some eyeshadow and blend it all over your eyelid or in your crease. You don't have to pack it on. But for me, this shade, I don't know why, it looks more brown, but on my eyelids it turned more gray. I know it looks great here also too, but for some reason it looked more gray on my eyes than I would maybe like it to. It's not a bad, a bad shade, it blends beautifully, just not my favorite eyeshadow. These metallics are great. I didn't try this one, but these two are nice. No problems there. So this is 
a nice palette. Would I recommend it? Probably not. If you already have these shades, maybe you don't need this palette. But, but if you still want it, then just have this in mind that you do need to be careful with the dark shades. You need to pack them on your eyes before you blend it, or else they will look patchy. This black, it's very pigmented, but when I try to also put it in my like eyeliner before I applied my eyelashes, it didn't really show up as much as I would like it to. So maybe it is only in my palette. So I'm not really 100% happy with this palette but I'm definitely going to continue using it because I don't have these kind of shades in other palettes I think I have so many palettes but like I said I'm honest this is my honest review I if this palette works for you I'm that's great I'm very happy but sometimes the makeup doesn't work the same on different eyes shapes or different skin and then it's everything else so guys I hope you liked this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload three videos a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I hope you choose to support and be a part of Didi family. And we have an amazing time on this channel. So if you want to be part of that, click on that subscribe button. And I hope I see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.